which suggests to me that a long time ago there were old indiv adult mature individuals of these long living species meaning the forest once present here was a forest forget about sustainability you want to enrich ecosystems every being is equipped to live a positive energetic balance keep it pruned we are cultivating abundance not a problem to cut down trees the problem is not planting them What is up YouTube? Welcome to the Ego Forestry Academy channel. Today I want to talk to you about how to identify a vegetation right, or a forest that is in a state of degradation. This is a question that came up in our last um, Q&A that we had with our patrons, if you've been following us. Uh, in these Q and A's, you probably saw we talk about this question, so I decided to do a video about it to show some some footage of a completely degraded vegetation. But before we jump right into it, mate, the horse flies are insane. There are at least three of them on the mobile, a bunch of them around my head. Before we jump right into it subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and smash the like button because it helps us with the algorithms so do that for us so vegetation uh, many people you know they see some vegetation with trees like like this one behind me and many people think that this is the, the original vegetation of the place and this is the native vegetation. But when you train your eyes, you start to understand that this is a, this has been uh, this has been destroyed so many times that the, this is the leftover of the leftover of the leftover of the once beautiful forest that had here with trees of over 40 meters of height and over a meter of diameter in the trunk. So honestly, this is. It's embarrassing, actually, this, this kind of vegetation. And I'm gonna show you uh, the state of the trees and a few things that you can uh, learn to identify to, to understand if that was, uh, if, if it has been an ecosystem that has been degraded often or not. So let me change the camera to give you a look. So first thing that you see is that trees grow in clumps, right? For example, let's take this tree for example. You can see that there was an original trunk here, the stump that was cut back or burned or something. Anyway, it died and then the tree sprouted two trunks. And when you look up the tree, you can see that it's got very few leaves, a bunch of dead branches. There is a vine kind of wrapping it all up. Recently, I cut the vine because I'm starting to prepare this area for planting. You can see the, the cut part here. So the vine is dead, but it was completely covering that. So a, a vegetation that has vines all around covering all the trees is a vegetation that is um, asking for a disturbance and a clearing. Look at this other plant here. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six stems. Same thing, a bunch of dead branches, uh, vines all over, few leaves. The ratio uh, leaf to trunk is very narrow. You healthy plants, they have a, like a, many leaves per volume of trunk. Right, so this is a, the sign of a healthy plant. It has a lot of leaves and not a lot of wood in comparison, of course. Uh, look at this other one here. Same thing, in, all around you see that there was an original uh, trunk and main stem, but it has been cut down, it has been burned a few times. You can see the trees, they, they're all hurt. 
for various reasons they cannot sustain uh, a healthy trunk look at this one here it's already devoured by by term it's still alive it's still alive but it's i mean <laughs> it's completely destroyed look at this other one here it's just a huge clump of uh look at this look at the state of the of the trunk of this tree this is a tree that grows uh straight and upward to, to here there, there's a all right looking stem that sprouted you can see it grew it managed to grow straight it's pretty healthy so i would take down all of this tree mass and just leave one of these healthy trunks to give it a chance for for being healthy again look at this this is not a healthy not a healthy plant There's no way right so you know just look for i'm gonna list what you have to look for first is the tree growing like a tree I mean, does it grow upward and of course there are many species of trees and some of them will grow very straight and upward uh, some of them are going to branch out a bit lower but still very few species grow in clumps naturally and i'm talking about trees of course there are bushes and stuff like that but trees very few of them grow in 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 clumps they usually just shoot one stem and they might branch out early but they don't grow in clumps so when you see trees grow in clumps you can check out the base of the tree you're going to see that it's been cut and now it's re-sprouting and then creating the clumps this is one um, sign of a, a vegetation that has already been disturbed another sign uh oh that's that that's a good one over there you can see the the termite mound on the on the tree there's a lot of those around here uh the the leaf to wood ratio of the plant so when you see a plant that has very few leaves i mean look at this branch this is it's ridiculous the amount of leaves it has i can count it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen i mean it's, it's got three leaves per branch this is this is not a healthy plant this is a plant that does cannot sustain itself right so lots of dead branches few leaves this all shows a decaying vegetation another thing this you can see that this type of vegetation it's like kind of bushy low and um trees won't grow too tall but i find here sporadically long living trees which are still young they're not really big yet but i have found species here that are species which grow to 40 meters tall and live over 300 years which is not the case of any of these species here but i do find them every now and then which suggests to me that a long time ago there were old indiv adult mature individuals of these long living species meaning the forest once present here was a forest a real forest with big trees and not this that i see here now so that is why the best thing you can do when you have a vegetation in this situation is to prune it all down to take it all down and i'm gonna show to you the power of pruning stuff and what happens with the health of the trees from a tree that has a bunch of dead branches very few leaves small leaves you start getting this kind of stuff here look lush green vegetation big leaves check this out check the amount of leaves the amount of leaves in the plant it's completely different look at this one over here also beautiful 
same species that I find over there, but in a complete different state. Look at the size of this leaf. This is the same species as this one. And look at the size of this leaf. So, you know, these are a few signs for you to look for uh, and identify a forest that is completely degraded and asks for a disturbance. So that's what I wanted to talk to you about today. And um, there's a passion fruit there which is taking the trees down. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, check out our full agroforestry course. I'm gonna put a card here. Um, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Uh, it's the best way you can support us. If you like our channel, you wanna take a step further in your agroforestry learning, do join us in our Patreon community. You're gonna get access to extra material. You're gonna get access to our Discord community and you're gonna get to participate in our monthly Q and A's. So to finish this video, check out this passion fruit which was growing on a, on a castor beans plant which has died but the passion fruit is uh, looks pretty healthy lots of fruit check it out good stuff i don't think there is anyone already ripe on the floor so. all right guys thanks a lot for watching i'm felipe for Diego Forsche Academy, and I'm signing out. Peace.